dat dan een logeerkamer zou worden voor je kleinkinderen. Get up, get up, smile adventure, yeah. You don't need to go far, cause you're already there. Falling, you will learn, make it work, and you will learn the price of life itself. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Uganda. We are jumping back on the bikes today and riding to Kampala because one, we do need to make some progress even though it's only 120 kilometers or something like that. It will take us to almost three hours and um, there's a mechanic in Kampala where we can do the oil change which is necessary. Hopefully we can find an oil filter and do laundry. That is highest on my list to be honest because I'm dirty, my stuff is dirty and it doesn't matter if I get clean, then the stuff makes me dirty again. And if I make the stuff dirty, clean, then I'm dirty and the stuff gets dirty again. So I need to clean both. <laughs> but yeah, that's for later today. Let's go. Good morning everyone, welcome to Uganda, we're in Kampala today and there's actually a really big step ahead of us because we're going now to do an ultrasound. Well, as it is, uh, yeah, not this Monday but Monday a week ago we found out that Nora is pregnant. Well, we still have three months to go and there is a small frambosia growing in her belly so we're gonna say hi to it pretty excited about that Yes. 
that looks delicious. Uganda has been real good food-wise so far. Really impressed with Uganda so far. And then, then is there above uh, ruimte for a logeerkamer? Oh, nou, ik dacht dat het dan een logeerkamer zou worden voor je kleinkinderen. Nee, het is er maar eentje. Wat klein je dat voor elkaar? <laughs> dat is zijn schuld. Oh. En waar ben je dan geweest? Zal ik foto's te laten maken? Ja, gewoon bij een kliniek hier, in de straat. Hier in de straat? Ja. Kost ons, uh, wat was het ook alweer? 12 euro. 12 euro. Dankjewel, jij ook? Ja, nou ja. Deze meneer zei zeven, zeven weken en vijf dagen. Die meneer zei zeven weken en vijf dagen. Ja. Nou, dat is, dat is heel knap, ja. Voor Waarom? Die nou, meestal is het maar een gokje. Ja, dat, zeg, dat staat er ook. Plus minus vier dagen. Oh. En hoe voel je je? Misselijk. Dag. Elke dag. De hele dag. De hele dag. De hele dag. Ja. Ja. Ja, ja dat herken ik wel. Ja, de hele dag. En je eten, af en zie. Meestal niet, uh, maar soms wel. Ah, ja. Nou, uh, 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 en zie je de borsten? Oh, hele grote tieten. Ja, ze zijn eindelijk groot. Ja, ze zijn eindelijk groot. Nee, ik zal hem zo even whatsappen. Wat zeg je nou allemaal? Ik zeg ik zal hem zo even whatsappen. Zij al die zo meteen even whatsappen. Ja. Maar het is nog een geheimpje, oh, niemand mag het ook. Gefeliciteerd hè. Dat het gelukt is. <laughs> Doe wist nog een maar oma. Wir, waren, wir sind heute in der Hauptstadt, wir waren heute in der Klinik. Schau. Ja, was freut mich aber. Da kenne ich jetzt nicht so viel. Das ist der Herzschlag. Das ist der Herz. Also, der Termin hier ist der 22. September. Ja, wieder schon wieder September. Ich weiß. Na, schauen wir mal, was es wird. Ja. Aber ja, sind wir glücklich. Otherwise, today, what is on the plan? All change, probably some editing, picking up the laundry, just the usual stuff. It's quite hot. Right? Well, in Uganda, actually, it's uh, quite more humid than in Kenya. It's really crazy, but it's also, it's really green, so it's really nice. Well, we're gonna go into the crazy traffic of Kampala and see you later. What did we find? Well, so the next task of, or the task of today is to find motorcycle oil. And it's been a bit of a challenge, but I think we're at the right shop right now. We will see. Let's check it out.
All right, so we only have the, wait, what's it called, the key? The ratchet, but we don't have the socket. Yeah, well, we don't have the socket for the ratchet. Number Ooh, 14, so we only have this. Because it doesn't fit properly, or it's just like... A little bit too big. A little bit too big. We couldn't cut the screw open, but now Jojo went to the little motorcycle mechanic next door and he loosened it, so now we can finally unscrew it. Wait a minute. Just with the thingy on, it's really annoying. Broken off. But slow but steady wins the race. So we managed to buy some motorcycle oil from Castro and it's just a fully synthetic where we usually buy semi synthetic but yeah, it's 10W50 four stroke motorcycle oil so I guess it'll have to do because that is the only thing we could find. Pricey, but uh, I hope it lasts us to South Africa. We also tried to find a oil filter, but that is impossible here in Uganda. So it's not ideal. I have to admit, it's the third time we're using this filter. We should have changed in Israel when it was available, but. We did not. So, lesson learned. Lesson learned. We're missing one piece of tool <laughs> kit, which is the 14 millimeter socket, which we need for the front wheel and for changing the oil. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with our toolkit. They're pretty happy with the bike as well. The bike is doing really well. Both bikes together use about 5 liters if we don't change the oil filter, that's perfect. You can buy 5 bottles and they are completely finished by the time we're done. I saw a fish from the Victoria Lake. Like this big. That big? <laughs> yes. Ja, es noch ein bisschen hufflig ist, ja. Wow. Happy. What about yours? Yeah, also like new. Oh, what about the jackets? Oh, oh my.
my god! It's so yellow! Do they smell nice? Nice. Whatever that was. Yeah, that was the tiger ball. Oh, okay, that's really, really bad. Oh, I'm really happy that it gets so clean. A big shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. A special thanks to Charles Sykes, AV Matt, Jeremy Thorpe, Matthew Boxholder, Robin and Rebecca, Martin and Melissa, Robert Schulze, Cindy Balrich, Muneeb Said, Victor Bart, and Dan Priest. I couldn't have done it without you. If you're also interested in becoming part of the ADV family, go check out my Patreon page where you can find out more about how to support this ride.